love Jesus, then you'll miss everything else that he came to give us. So it's important that all of us as Christians, as disciples of Christ, know who Jesus is. So this morning from the book of Colossians, we're going to turn to chapter number one. And I'm going to start reading at verse number 13. You can be seated. I'm going to do our reading uh, included into our message. And then, again, the subject is the importance of knowing Jesus. All right. Good to see our visiting friends here with us uh, this morning. Tim, you all the way here from Georgia, girl. Good to see you all the way. Good to see everybody. Good to see everybody always. All right. And then from the uh, Psalms, from the book of Psalms, the ninth uh, Psalm and verse number 10, that will be one uh, verse that we're going to read, verse number 10 from the book of Psalm, uh, the ninth Psalm. Colossians chapter 1, verse 13. Who have delivered us from the power of darkness? and hath translated us into the kingdom of his dear son, in whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sin, who is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of every creature. For by him were all things created that are in heaven, and that are in earth, visible and invisible, whether it be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created by him and for him. Turn to Psalm 9, verse number 10. Psalm 9, verse number 10. Are we there? Amen. And they that know thy name will put their trust in thee. For thou, Lord, has not forsaken them that seek thee. Amen. The importance of knowing Jesus. Let's bow here in the word of prayer. Oh, gracious God, our Father, we come today as humble as we know how. We come thanking you, oh God, for, first of all, the daughter son, Jesus. We thank you for giving us the opportunity to know him, especially in the part of our sins. We say thank you, oh God, for his delivering power. We thank you for this fellowship, this gathering that you have allowed to take place here this morning. Yeah. Oh God, we appreciate the fact that we have not come here for no shape, form, or fashion. Mm -hmm. But we have come, first of all, to fellowship with one another, yeah. to, to commune with you, to be in the presence of Almighty God, to learn from you. Yeah. We thank you, oh God, we thank you for the presence and visitation of the Holy Spirit right now in this place. Lord, we ask that you to open our minds and our hearts. Give us clarity to preach your words so that we can receive the simple truths of your word. It is in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Again, thank God for Jesus. Getting the voice of knowing Jesus. This morning I stand before you very simply to announce to us something that we are well aware of, and that's the fact that there are many Christians who don't know Jesus as they should. When we get to know Jesus, when we know him on a personal level, see, when we know Jesus, he enters, he moves into close proximity with each and every one of us. He wants us to know everything about him. There's nothing about Jesus yeah. that has been hidden from us. Now, in fact, the Bible puts an emphasis on this when the Bible declares unto us that we are to be imitators of Christ. Yeah. You 
can't imitate someone unless you learn all about them. So it's important that we know the reason a lot of Christians struggle is because they don't know Jesus on the level that God intended for us to know Jesus. That's why, that's why we have such a problem trying to keep our carnal man in check. Because this is often said, it is the truth, if the truth is ever told, you cannot meet, I mean really meet Jesus and stay safe. Oh, 
by him. Because his word tells us that all things were made by him. And all things were made for him. But what the devil does is he plays tricks on our line. He makes us think that he owns some things. And what he does is he gets us to chase after some things that we all
assurance of knowing Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. If you don't know Jesus, you won't be able to stand until you change. But if you know him, the power is available. See, let me make this perfectly clear. You can have the power of Holy, the Holy Spirit living in you apart from the relationship with Jesus Christ. The Trinity is three in a perfect union to all one. There is no division in the Trinity. No matter how many ways you try to put it, it's still one. When we're hidden in Christ, we're hidden in God, we have access to God, we have the power of the Holy Spirit available at all times. Good morning. If you're here today, oh hallelujah. Oh hallelujah. Oh hallelujah. Oh hallelujah. If you're here today, don't you know him in the part of your sin. I mean, what does that mean, preacher? I mean, when God looks at he still see you standing in the midst of your sin, and he don't see the blood Amen. of his son. Because the only God would accept us if the blood of his son covers our life and our life is healed. And that's about most important. We're not to complicate the gospel message. It is simple in its true form. The way God gave us his word is so that we can understand it and apply it to our life and give the proper response. There's so many, you can look around, there's, there's so many confused. Confusion is rather rampant in this way. We have to be watchful. The Bible tells us that we're ready to return we to watch. If you're not careful, you'll be drawn to some of the things because they are in the illusion of being the right thing to do. Yeah. Yeah. And there are so many things we have Christians do wrong because we've been yeah. fooled or bamboozled yeah. into thinking yeah. they were right and they were absolutely yeah. wrong. Yeah. The word of God is true. Now, sometimes it comes hard. I'm going to say this to y'all. I'm going to leave y'all yeah. home. Just think about it on the way home. <laughs> And I hope this applies to our life. And it, 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 it just, it's, just express the difficulty, how difficult it is. Don't y'all take this the wrong way. And still understand, I will never, I can never tell us how to go. Understand this. The reason I'm using this because we just came out of voting season. And some of those in Georgia still in voting season. But let me tell you this, let me tell you this. If we're going to vote our conscience as Christians, I say this, don't, 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 don't feel bad, but I'm talking about you, I don't really know who you voted for. So don't say it. But as a Christian, we shouldn't vote for nobody to promote gay marriages. I'm just saying, listen to me now. I ain't picking out who you vote. I don't know, don't you dare. Please don't come up to tell me who you vote for. We shouldn't vote for nobody that's saying it's all right, you can just go out there and act crazy and abort your baby. Y'all 
understand what I'm saying? I just say that to say this. It's hard. But when we let God lead us, when you know Jesus, let him lead you. Okay? That's all I'm saying. Is there anybody here that don't have a relationship with God through his son Jesus Christ? The opportunity is available to you right now. To surrender your life. What will nothing happen to you by putting your hand in my hand? That's when you put your hand in God's hand. Your change is taking place in your life. Hallelujah, Jesus. Will there be one today? All you got to do is have simply say this. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. I know I messed up. I know I messed up. I know I'm going to mess up. But I love you, Lord. And I want you in my life. That's all you have to do. Will it be right today? If you remain seated, will it be right today? God bless you. Thank God for it. This is serious business. Serious business. God thank you. God bless your hearts. Listen, each and every one of us is important to the church. And when I say important to the church, I don't mean saint labor. I mean the church that Christ is coming back for. Each one of us have a part to play in the church. Amen. Let's play it to the full potential. Be the best player that God has. Depend on God for sure. Somebody gonna read you like a book this week. Somebody read you like a book last week. Somebody gonna read you like a book this week. They either follow you to church or they'll run away from you when you come. But somebody will read you. Let him see Christ in my church. Stay down to me. God bless your heart. Pray for each other this week. We thank God for all of this in friends. Listen, how many loads we have in the gym? Just a part of it. We have some loads of bread right there in the Bible. Just to check it out, it's good. So don't say the church is getting no bad bread. <laughs> We would rather see somebody take it than get to sit here and spoil. So if you would go back there and get, I think it's only like 10 loaves or something. So if you go back there and get it, take it home with you. If you like me, you love peanut butter and jelly. Get a lot of real meat. God bless you, go get it. Do what you do. Snacks for the children. For the children, we do have snacks. You don't have to go and get candy today. We got snacks for mom. You want to go get them, baby? Baby, you want to go get them out of the chocolate cup? We have snacks for the children that we read up here. God bless you. We love all of you, those that's traveling from far this and God bless your heart. We love you. We pray for you. We pray that everybody have a blessed holiday season. Next Sunday is our last Sunday before Christmas. So why don't we do this? Those that can and will, wear your ugly sweater next week to Sunday Sunday. Wear your ugly sweater. If you can, you If you want to participate, we're going to hold that against you. Okay, God bless you. We love you. Let's lift our hands toward heaven. God, we love you. We thank you. We adore you, oh God. We just appreciate you allowing us to come in this house to worship you and have fellowship one with another. We pray, oh God, that things were done here in the way today that we would be accepted by you. Now may we reach our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ through the name of the Holy Spirit. May it rest with the power of us now and forever. May it rest with the power of us now and forever. Say amen again. Amen. One big shout.